Hey guys, got a new build coming here today. It was actually inspired by a customer of mine. He does broadcasting out of Los Angeles and he told me to bring a computer home in order to load Windows 10 onto it because he was having problems with it. So I brought it home and I got it working with Windows 10 and I ran Cinebench and I was like, what the hell? So um, it really inspired me to start a new build. <laughs> For this build, I got two Intel X5680s uh, that are going to be on uh, a super micro board with dual sockets. I loaded it with 16 gigs of RAM um, because of something I'll talk about later. Um, and then we also got a AVGA 750B that we're going to be powering all our stuff in. We also have two Hyper T4s that are going to give us brilliant air cooling. Um, I went with a fan controller, the NZXT Sentry 3. I also have a USB 3.0 card because of no onboard support with server boards. I also went with an Armor 2X by MSI, a GTX 970. Um, that'll power pretty much any game um, and hopefully that'll, you know, I'm not too much of a gamer but you know how it goes. Um, and hopefully this should give us enough uh, performance for our buck. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of 140 and 120 AF fans from Corsair. Um, and I got something to talk to you about that too, but um, uh, they're all white LEDs, so I'm going with black and white theme on this build. As well with Armor 2X, so it's black and white. So this build, it took about a week or two. Um, there were a couple of hiccups, uh, like I said. Um, the and it had no onboard USB and no onboard audio. Yeah. Now this project is really not for the light at heart. There also was some customizing that had to be done to the back plate in order to get it to sit right. Luckily, the Corsair 750D came with three 140 millimeter fans, uh, all from Corsair. That definitely helped with the budget just a little bit. Some of the issues that we had. Um, was that when Windows t shuts down, the computer doesn't turn off. That was something that I noticed. Another interesting thing is that because the Hyper T4s had to sit in their respective directions, the dim slots for the closest uh, RAM couldn't fit because of the heat pipes coming off of the Hyper T4s. This build took about a week just because of a lot of the incompatibilities and the customizing that needed to be done in order to get this PC working 100%. I gotta say, this was one of the most fun builds I've ever done and it was a lot of work, but it was definitely well worth it in the end. This build definitely had some complications and definitely needed some customizing. From lack of onboard audio to the RAM not fitting correctly because of the Hyper T4s, and lack of uh, onboard audio, uh, USB, uh, the back plates not um, working correctly and needing customizing. Those all um, took time and a lot of energy. But if you do your research, there's no reason why this can't be a really fun project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below so I know how I did. And let me know future videos that you guys want to see. Just remember, keep thinking outside the box and there's nothing you can't accomplish. Again, thank you guys for watching. This is Nicholas with CN Tech Pro and I'll see you in the next one.